Short Story 137 The Disappearing Delivery The insistent buzzing of Maya's phone startled her awake. Squinting at the screen, she saw it was a message from Speedy Delivery. Your package has arrived. Please be at your door within 10 minutes or a safe location will be chosen. Confusion clouded Maya's mind. She hadn't ordered anything recently. Shrugging, she threw on a robe and hurried downstairs, her bare feet slapping against the cold wooden floor. Outside, her small apartment building was deserted. The delivery truck was nowhere to be seen. Puzzled, Maya checked the front steps. Empty. She glanced around nervously, then cautiously approached the communal mailbox area. There, nestled between the usual bills and flyers, sat a small, nondescript cardboard box. The box was surprisingly light. Holding her breath, Maya used a fingernail to pry it open. Inside, nestled in shredded paper, lay a beautiful antique pocket watch. The silver case was intricately engraved with swirling designs and a tiny inscription on the back. To Amelia, with love, J. 1892. Maya's heart pounded. Who was Amelia? Who sent this? It was definitely not meant for her. But before she could dwell on it further, her phone buzzed again. Another message from Speedy Delivery. Package successfully delivered. Thank you for using our services. Determined to return the watch, Maya spent the next few hours searching online. She found Amelia listed as a resident of the building in 1900 census, but no current information. Frustrated, she turned to her neighbour, Mrs Higgins, a retired history teacher known for her knowledge of the town's past. Mrs Higgins, perched on her favourite rocking chair, listened intently to Maya's story. Hmm, an antique pocket watch, she mused, her eyes twinkling. That sounds like something belonging to the old Jameson family. They lived on the top floor back in the day, a rather eccentric bunch. Intrigued, Maya pressed on. Do you know anything about Amelia? Mrs Higgins nodded. Amelia Jameson was a young woman around the turn of the century, known for her adventurous spirit. They say she disappeared mysteriously one night, never to be seen again. A shiver ran down Maya's spine. Could this watch be connected to Amelia's disappearance? Suddenly the inscription on the back held a new meaning. Could J be the name of a lost love? Fueled by newfound purpose, Maya decided to investigate further. She spent the next few days scouring the town's library's archives, digging through dusty new papers and faded photographs. Finally, she unearthed a small article about Amelia's disappearance. Apparently, she had vanished without a trace, leaving behind only an empty room and a single, unopened letter addressed to a J. Armed with this information, Maya returned to Mrs Higgins. Do you know anyone named J from that time period? Mrs Higgins pondered for a moment, then her eyes widened. There was a Jacob Thorne, a young clockmaker who lived across the street. They say he was sweet on Amelia, even proposed before she vanished. Hope surged through Maya. Maybe this Jacob held the key to the watch's origin. With Mrs Higgins' help, she tracked down Jacob's great-nephew, a man named Edward. Edward, a kind-faced gentleman, greeted Maya with a warm smile. He listened with rapt attention as she recounted the story of the watch. Tears welled up in his eyes as he saw the inscription. This was my great uncle's, he said, his voice thick with emotion. He spoke often of Amelia, his lost love. He never got over her disappearance and always carried this watch, hoping one day she'd return. A deep sadness filled Maya. This wasn't just a lost package, it was a piece of a heartbreaking love story. Together with Edward, they decided to visit Amelia's old apartment. The room was bare, untouched for over a century. As they examined the space, Maya's eye caught a glint of metal behind a loose floorboard. 
Reaching in, her fingers brushed against a small wooden box. Inside the box lay a faded yellowed letter with Amelia's name scrawled on the front. With trembling hands, Edward opened it. It was a heartfelt message from Jacob, confessing his love and proposing an adventure, a trip to explore uncharted lands. Tears streamed down Edward's face as he finished reading. She was going to run away with him, he whispered, but, but something must have happened. Maybe she got cold feet or someone found out. The mystery remained unsolved, but the missing piece of the puddle had brought a sense of closure for Edward. As a token of gratitude, he insisted Maya keep the watch. Vocabulary notes. Deserted. Adjective. Empty of people. Example, the apartment building was deserted. Nondescript. Adjective. Not having any special features or qualities. Plain. Example, a small nondescript cardboard box. Engraved. Verb. To cut a design or inscription into a hard surface. Example, the silver case was intricately engraved. Inscription. Noun. Words or symbols carved or written on a surface. Example, to Amelia with love, J. 1892. Perched. Verb. To sit or rest in a high or precarious position. Example, Mrs. Higgins perched on her favourite rocking chair. Mused. Verb. To think deeply or at length about something in a relaxed way. Example. Hmm. An antique pocket watch, she mused. Eccentric. Adjective. Unconventional or strange in a way that is interesting. Example. A rather eccentric bunch. Intrigued. Verb. Made curious or interested, especially by something mysterious. Example. Intrigued. Maya pressed on. Scouring. Verb. To search a place thoroughly. Example. Maya spent the next few days scouring the town library's archives. Unearthed. Verb. To discover something that has been hidden or forgotten for a long time. Example. Finally, she unearthed a small article about Amelia's disappearance. Vanished. Verb. To disappear completely and mysteriously. Example. Amelia had vanished without a trace. Wrapped attention. Noun. Complete and absorbed attention. Example. He listened with rapt attention as she recounted the story of the watch. Welled up. Verb. To rise or flow up suddenly, especially in large quantities. Example. Tears welled up in his eyes as he saw the inscription. Confession. Noun. An admission of something wrong or embarrassing. Example. It was a heartfelt message from Jacob confessing his love. Closure. Noun. The act of ending something or of coming to a point where one can move on. Example. The missing piece of the puzzle. It brought a sense of closure for Edward. Token. Noun. A small object given as a sign of something, especially of gratitude or appreciation. Example. As a token of gratitude, he insisted Maya keep the watch. Story written by Google Bard AI. Image created by Desgo.com AI. Please check out my new blog at www.steveuk.blog. Thank you. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you take the time to leave a meaningful comment and click on the like icon. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.